Wilson. And this is caught. It's Jimmy Graham. And they're able to get this one across the 35. A Seahawk first down. Wilson to his big target, Graham. Someone sharp in this game. I mean, a touchdown pass on the first drive and comes right back, and he's flinging it around really well here. A really nice throw there to pick up the first down. You, you kind of just feel a laser focus and confidence about him, and I think we saw that this week, didn't we? Talking to him and the coaches, they felt good about his performance coming up. Yeah, I was really impressed with that last practice we saw when they went through two-minute drill, when they went through all the different situations. Ball hardly hit the ground, and I thought, yeah, he might be locked in for this one. He couldn't quite hold it. Got hit. Ball pops out. Incomplete. Even the greats in this game, and, and he certainly qualifies as one of them, they're going to have trouble if they continue to throw into double coverage. He better be careful. Throwing into too much double coverage might have a couple of them picked off. Second and ten. It's Wilson again. Looking left side, and he's got a man. That's Richardson. And he takes this one all the way across midfield into enemy territory down to the 40-yard line. So after that big play, let's see if they can catch their defense maybe on their heels. They go play action here on first down. And no escaping this time as he'll go down. They got him for a sack. David Irving with a great push up front. He picks up the sack and a loss of eight. Second down, Wilson. Throwing over the middle, and it's incomplete. Jimmy Graham, the intended receiver. And it's third down. Now the offense going to use the first of their timeouts. They'll have two remaining as we step aside here in this first quarter. So incomplete on second down. Now they'll look to convert here on third. The defensive line disperses a little bit here, maybe expecting a pass. Third and long, it's Wilson. He finds his man, Baldwin. And he'll be taken down, but not before getting this inside the 30. And they're able to convert on third with a solid gain of 23. Alongside my broadcast partner, Charles Davis, Brandon Gordon hits the Seahawks with a football to begin quarter number two. And they're on the move here. They've got it first and ten. Offense walks to the line for play number seven of the drive. On first down, Wilson. And lucky to get away with one there. That one nearly picked. Second down. I know our vantage point might be a little bit better way up here, but that looked like an ill-advised throw to me. I didn't see anything open, and this play just didn't look right from the beginning. It did not. I thought he might get outside and just chuck it away. Dangerous pass, incomplete. Again on second and ten, it's Wilson going for it all. 
So the long attempt falls innocently to the ground, and it brings up third. Well, he's been the guy already over 100 yards here in the first half. Could have had a lot more if he would have been able to haul that one in. Yeah, in fact, our statistician Marvin was already handing me a piece of paper with that yardage totaled on it. He thought that catch was going to happen just as you and I did as well. On third down, Wilson. And able to find Graham complete. And he's able to pick up the first down before he's tackled right at the 10. They're able to convert on third down, and that sets up a first and goal. First and ten, it's Wilson. And he's got the big tight end, Graham. Touchdown, Seattle. Jimmy Graham from ten yards out. And the Seahawks have taken the lead. Yeah, he is a reliable target. They like to get him involved. They got him involved there for the score. And they should. He's a very good player. Remember, they can use him in certain positions, so many different spots, and he usually comes through for them. He's got it. It's now a 14-7 ball game. Here's Walsh now to kick this one off. It's a very short kick. Taken right at the 20. Before the offense changes hands here, let's look back to the Super Bowl February 5th. What a game. I know you were there calling it offensively, though. Impressive on both sides. It certainly was, and let's face it, if you're in Minnesota, it's cold outside, but you talk about the offenses, they heated up in a big way. And how about Nick Foles? The backup quarterback turned MVP. 273 yards, three touchdowns, and of course, the big one receiving on the Philly special. Quite a story. As you and I were talking about off-air, it was just a fluid game. Not a lot of penalties, just really clean play. Exactly. Exactly the type of game the NFL needed for the audiences at home watching the game and, of course, people in attendance. A really well-played game. Second down now after the incompletion. Looking to throw. Prescott being chased out left. It's incomplete. Took a shot, couldn't connect. Jason Witten, the intended target, at its third down. The one thing that I've liked defensively is that they've shown them a lot of different looks here in the first half. They've come after them, they've sat back. I think that's what you need to do to keep an offense guessing. And they certainly have kept them on their toes. That's why they haven't had much success on the scoreboard. Third down here for the offense after the incomplete pass. from the gun. And this one complete to Witten over the middle. And a big hit there as he runs into a brick wall around the 37. And they pick up 25 as they convert on third. The give is to Elliott. And tough sledding. You'll get maybe a yard. Stop short of the 35. Well, if the coaching staff's doing a good job upstairs, they'll file away what they just saw from the defense right there. They sold out to stop that running play. I'd say keep that in mind. They want to try that again. Go play action hit them over the top. Now Prescott. It's caught on the right side. Williams. Touchdown, Cowboys. 
Terrence Williams, 36 yards. And the Cowboys are an extra point away from tying the football game. And we've got a good one brewing. We're all knotted up at 14. So we're right back where we started. All even as the kick's away. This is fielded at the goal line. And he's up past the 20 to the 22-yard line. Charles, earlier we talked a lot about Russell Wilson. What a great job he did last year in 2017 as Seattle's offense is working their way back onto the field. But they're probably going to need to find a running game to alleviate some of that pressure on Wilson, right? Yeah, you think? I mean, my goodness, when you take a look at what Russell Wilson did, he more than doubled the rushing yardage of Mike Davis, who finished second. And Mike Davis didn't begin the year on Seattle's roster. They went through a number of runners this season, none of them that fit and really hit. Chris Carson, they thought, was going to be the guy who got hurt early in the year. But they definitely have to find a running game and get back to playing that Seattle football of run first and let Russell Wilson take over from there. This is the Oklahoma State alum, Chris Carson. And he is swallowed up right at the line of scrimmage. Officially no gain on the play, and it's second down. A minute 59 to go in the first half. Back to CenturyLink Field after this. Offense still needing 10 yards, second down. Now it's Wilson. Trying to lay one up deep. And both guys were there, but it falls incomplete. This secondary has been roasted in this first half, and they get a measure of revenge there. Nice play on the deep ball. Yeah, they're going to need a few more plays like that in order to get their confidence fully back, but that's one step in the proper direction. And on third down, a nickel formation here defensively. From the shotgun, Wilson. as he pulls it in. And they convert on third with a gain of 22. I don't care how many times you tell the story, it never loses its luster for me. Doug Baldwin, undrafted, out of Stanford, and plays like a number one receiver should in the NFL. I don't care how you cover him. I don't care that his size isn't great. He's the one that typically comes up with the football. Absolutely. His roots go all the way back to goal. And no escaping this time as he'll go down. They got him for a sack. David Irving never giving up. He's able to keep working and get him for a loss of 12. Second down. Now that'll be tipped and intercepted. Picked off here by Anthony Hitchens. And they 